So you are probably wondering when you can start to tame, raise and breed those pets. It's a question I've had numerous times already and today I will explain all. So there will come a stage in a game guys which is much later on where you unlock the room of requirement. This is somewhere like the 21st main mission into the game, so following the main quest lines you will eventually unlock the Room of Requirement quest. I won't spoil anything for you by the way because the mission is absolutely amazing, but yes just look out for this one. Upon doing this mission you will see obviously further missions will open up. Now about 2 or 3 after the Room of Requirement mission or the Room of Requirement quest you want to look out for a quest called the Beast Class. Within this quest you get the basics about those beasts, feeding them, brushing them and earning those materials from them. You do this via spells you can equip to your spell diamond, so get this mission out of the way. After doing this quest you should see another quest open up called the elf, the knapsack and the loom. After beast class if you don't see this you probably have to progress the main quest a couple more times but it's literally one or two after. So this quest of the elf, the knapsack and the loom sees you having to work with Deke who takes you out into the wild to rescue smaller beasts and save them from poachers. This is done by you catching them with the knapsack which again guys you have to equip to your spell diamond. So as you progress this quest and catch those few beasts within those three different areas or so that you visit, you are then prompt to meet Deke within the room of requirement. Upon returning to him, you then unlock the vivarium. The vivarium is where you will keep all of these beast people, the ones you want to basically tame and raise. So going to Deke, unlocking the vivarium, he will teach you about the beast you just caught, about the vivarium and how it works. And well guys, from this point forward you are now free to go and catch those beasts. The same methods work with that nab sack. So on your map you will see those small beast dens you can go to and catch those beasts but also keep in mind the trickier beasts you can use other spells to slow them down to help you catch them. Now the beasts you do collect can both be male and female, you have a decent amount of space to catch them within your inventory, it's like 20 slots or so to start but as you progress further on into the quest this more or less doubles. Now these beasts you catch you can take back to your vivarium if you haven't hit that limit to keep them but the others you can either set free or sell for a good profit to the brood and peck vendor within Hogsmeade so keep that in mind people. But yes that is a simple lowdown on how you tame and keep those beasts and while well, I hope the video helped you out. Again it's early days yet a lot of people are really excited about the vivarium and these beasts it's probably why I've had so many questions about them but yes it's an option or a feature you unlock much much further on. Now guys if you are new to the channel and want to see those daily Hogwarts legacy videos and guides make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on. Also if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me out. Now if you want to come to my discord a great community of Hogwarts players talk about the game share your character your build whatever you like my discord is also linked down below. But guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.